Borag, would you send the next one in, please? <laughs> you must be Mr. Spock. Uh, that's correct, yeah. F.O. Oh, well, stick it up. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. F.O. First Officer. Oh, aye, aye, correct, correct. Listen, I hope you don't mind me mentioning this, but see these sliding doors at the front there? Well, I mean, I'm usually beamed up and doing everywhere, so I'm quite used to having my molecules rearranged. But getting them caught between sliding doors... <laughs> We'll just get some background details. Um, what school did you go to? School? <laughs> Will that affect my job prospect? I don't think so. No. Well, I went to, uh, I went to St. Androids of the Immaculate Ignition. <laughs> yes, well, it might. I know. So, you're looking for a job? I'm looking for a job. Yes, yeah. well, what can I offer you? I can offer you a job behind the ladies' lingerie counter at Fraser's. Ladies' lingerie? Yes. Oh, so you're asking me to boldly go where no man has ever been. <laughs> oh, there's a job as a stand-in for Archie McPherson. Oh, now you're asking me to boldly go where no man has ever been. Yes, well, I don't know what to suggest. Uh, there's a limited season here uh, at the Gaiety Govern, uh -huh. a part in a pantomime. Oh, pantomime? Oh, yes. that would be nice. Big Ears meets Noddy. <laughs> Big Ears? Yes. Big Ears meets Noddy? Yes. Well, I'm nothing like Noddy. I'm sorry, I have nothing for you. You look stupid. You're completely out of touch with reality. You'll be living on another planet. Oh, you're quite right. I mean, what other kind of job could I get? Uh, excuse me, do you have anyone who could make a good Scottish Tory party chairman? 